A possible transformation is being talked about for Lansing City Hall, a plan that's been waiting in the wings for quite some time now. It's finally taking center stage to be considered by Lansing City leaders, and our Josh Sanchez has a closer look at what a developer has in store for the downtown landmark. Josh? That's right, Sherry. The proposal from an Illinois-based developer has been on the table since 2017. Now, while the looks of Lansing City Hall will not completely change, it's the inside of the building that counts. More than five years since it was pitched to city leaders, the Lansing City Hall redevelopment plan has been finally introduced to the city council today. Major developments like a public safety complex groundbreaking last year and a new city hall relocation plan has opened the doors for this plan to be brought forward. The proposed project from Beitler Real Estate would convert city offices into a 183-room hotel, topped with a restaurant and cocktail lounge on the seventh floor, with retail and meeting space on the ground floor. Developers say the location is a prime spot for people visiting the state capitol, or people who are checking out a convention at the Lansing Center, or catch a game at Jackson Field. Preliminary drawings have the taller of the two sections of the building, holding most of the hotel space. It also takes advantage of City Hall's underground parking structure, with 60 spaces available. While the inside of the building would get a major renovation, the outside of the building will get a limited facelift that would keep the Lansing City Hall sculpture on the side of the building. And that's a win, according to several Lansing historical groups. The agreement lists a more than $2 million price tag. It also opens the door to tax revenue, bringing the property onto the city's tax roll for the first time. While there's a lot of time before you can actually book a room, there's already support for the plan from the mayor's office. In a statement from spokesperson Scott Bean, he says Mayor Andy Shore is ready to see the renderings become reality, saying in part, he has long supported the plans to turn it into a hotel and further spur development and growth in downtown Lansing. Now, the redevelopment agreement was moved from the city clerk's office to the Committee of the Whole. The next meeting for city leaders will be in two weeks on June 24. Sherry?